Hello everyone and welcome to another episode by CDBTC. Uh, I'd like to begin by thanking everyone who subscribes to my channel. Uh, I hope you're enjoying my videos. Uh, today's video will, uh, will be a tutorial on how to set up a wallet to stake coins on a it's usually called a virtual private server but in this case it's a virtual desktop which functions the same basically it's like having uh, your own Windows computer on the cloud and uh, you can access it from anywhere two benefits to this are one it's never affected by power outages it can be on 24 7 and the second one and well, which is very important to me is you have access to your wallet from anywhere at any time so if you have to move your coins to or from an exchange you can do it from anywhere easily if you have the wallet on your computer at home it's gonna be tougher to do that uh, basically you're gonna have to be there but not with this there are apps that you can install on your phone to control it and um, I won't get into that but right now the tutorial is how to set up uh, this virtual desktop in my case I will be using Amazon web services they give you access to one desktop uh, free for one year and um, first you just have to sign up to Amazon web services uh, the process is very easy they will ask you for a credit card as a guarantee but they are not gonna charge it they will uh, call you up or send you an SMS uh, in order to register to the system you have to input the code they give you and then you'll be on it, ta it usually takes about uh, from a few hours to a day uh, for them to set up your your dashboard but once you're set up uh, it's very easy to do so what you're gonna do is look for the EC2 service and uh, <clears throat> you're gonna have to click on the EC2 service you can go through this process launch a virtual machine just make sure you choose the EC2 uh, but I'm gonna go through here <clears throat> I think it's easier this is my console and I have one running instance this is the desktop that's running uh, my Goku wallet and I'm going to create a new one so I'm gonna hit launch instance you get the options here on what platform you want to use I'm choosing the Microsoft Windows Server base I'm gonna select it it's the free tier so I'm not gonna change anything here I'm just gonna hit review and launch and launch you're gonna have to create a key pair this is your password the password that's gonna be associated to your desktop so I will be creating a new pair and I'm gonna choose wallet to Tutorial. and I'm gonna download this key pair it's downloaded here and now I'm gonna launch the instance okay it says your instances are launching and I'm gonna get notified of estimated charges if this is your first one there's not gonna be a charge it's gonna be free so uh, I'm just gonna hit this uh, let's see services okay so EC2 it says I have two running instances and I'm just gonna give it a, uh, a name wallet tutorial check it's still initializing you have to wait about four minutes before uh, you can get on it so while that happens I will 
go into my current desktop and show you what that looks like uh, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna look for my Goku okay this is it <clears throat> and see this is my my desktop on the Amazon Web Services this is my Goku wallet this is where I am staking and it's working very good uh, I just received um, stake a few hours back about two hours ago uh, 12,388 Goku coins so that's very going very very good I'm really digging this coin I'm enjoying it a lot okay so let's see if we can connect so we choose our server and we hit a connect we have to download the remote desktop file that's what I just hit in order to log into my server I'm we are gonna have to get the password okay so the password is not yet available let's wait a couple of more minutes while we do with that I want to talk about Goku coin and how you should sell it when when if you if you're gonna sell your stakes and you come into Nova please do not hit on these orders and sell because you're lower lowering the price the people who want to come into Goku they want the product so when someone wants the product you make them come to you you don't go to them you make them they have to come to you so put your sell order here and um, choose the first or the second one to, to just let them bring the price up let them come to you don't drop the price let's bring the price up see this guy is doing it all wrong dropping the price dropping the price this one is doing it right 560 see people were willing to pay 560 560 here don't drop it just let them come up here be patient you will sell them that's what I do I don't sell down here that's just destroying value we don't want to destroy value okay so let's go back here let's try to connect wallet tutorial so we have to get the password so we're gonna have to uh, find our key pair that's the one we created earlier and it's encrypted so we have to hit the de decrypt password and this is it so you just copy it and you close it and we're gonna go in here this is the way we're gonna connect don't ask me again I want to connect it asks for the password I put it in there I asked it to remember me and yes don't ask me again for connections from this computer I will I want to connect see and it's connecting so since this is a new setup it's as if you were installing Windows for the first time so you're gonna see that it's running the process it's very fast don't worry we're not gonna be here for hours <clears throat> so it's getting set up when it first starts internet explorer is configured to a super super high security i don't like it i don't enjoy it so i avoid using it so the first thing i do is install google chrome i say no <coughs> i install google chrome and uh, I get that way I avoid all the nagging 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 from I, that I get from Internet Explorer okay so open Internet Explorer and so you don't have to suffer don't use them please don't use them but it doesn't care so Chrome 
dot google dot com just type that in don't search because the pain will start if you do that okay so it see pain don't show this warning and I have to add add close add add close it's just warnings 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 about security add close add add close download Chrome this happens every time so this you're gonna have to go through this add, add and that's why I use Chrome so I don't have to go th uh, through this pain during every page see add add close add this is the last one I promise oh man there that's the last one hit back now hit download Chrome accept yes I want to save it it's downloading it's super fast I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna close this one get rid of the Explorer don't use it it's installing Man, I love how technology is, uh, has advanced. Okay, so uh, we have our Google Chrome installed. So now we're going to have to go get our Goku Wallet. And the Goku Wallet can be downloaded from this place. Poka, poka, poka. So I'm going to copy the link. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back into my platform the virtual desktop hit it, paste it this is the place so we hit download and it's downloading super fast decrypting and completed and show in folder I'm gonna close the the Chrome hit on this run it and that's it your Google wallet is installed you're just gonna have to wait for it to update see it's downloading the blocks it says it's catching up and uh, it's download, downloaded 500 out of 24,289 blocks so this might take uh, I don't know 10 15 minutes it's usually very fast this is where you're gonna be able to see your staking I'm not staking because my wallet is sinking and this is where you can see how many connections you have let's see connections connections three active connections as of now so once you have this installed what you're gonna do and this has completed downloading what you're gonna do is basically receive coins you're gonna choose this address and you're gonna use this address in your exchange to when when you withdraw coins you withdraw them to this address and you're gonna get that get them here so they're gonna show up in here it's gonna show up as a transaction and you will have your Goku coins in here your total how much is taking how many have uh, how many are unconfirmed and dispendable this is a newer wallet than the one i have from what what i'm seeing but mine is working great so i'm going to change it for now and uh guys that's it that's it uh it's super super easy um if you close this 
it doesn't shut down your your virtual desktop it's still open it just cut off your connection to it but that's it so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, remember to subscribe that's it everyone have a good night